The key to the inspection and testing section is working methodically. If you plan out your work and take care of your paperwork, you can avoid many of the common areas where people fail. Try breaking this section down into the following steps. There are template forms in BS7671, the on-site guide and guidance note 3. Look at these in the weeks before the assessment to familiarise yourself. If you're unsure how a test should be carried out, check the on-site guide and guidance note 3. You'll have these with you during the assessment. You can start to fill in your documentation before starting to test. Make a start on the electrical installation certificate and schedule of inspections. Most importantly, set up your schedule of test results. This will help you when you come to it later. Don't forget, before you start testing, prepare the test instrument for use and set it on the correct range. Don't be tempted to take a shortcut that you might have learnt on site. Follow the technique you've been shown by your college or training provider. When you carry out the test, check the installed circuits and equipment function as intended. This is a common area where people fail, so take care to do this job correctly. Make sure you reinstate and secure the connections correctly after testing. Avoid recording your testing results on a scrap of paper. These may become lost or not entered on the test sheets. As you carry out the tests, always record your results straight away on the test sheets provided. Fill in the results as you complete each test. This will highlight anything you may have forgotten. If you need to repeat the test, you can, but you may have to retest the whole circuit again, as the results may have been altered. Remember to verify your test results against the requirements of BS7671 and record on the net documents supplied. If the documentation is not correct, you will lose marks. Don't leave any section blank. 